really depend on who they will have to hard carry them throughout the rest of the game. Um, yeah. I mean, let's see what we're going to finish this off with. We do finally see a uh, Skarner ban as well as, actually, we have a lot of AD carry bans like we were just talking about. So what do you think is going to be fair with Well the Bard, though? That's going to be... An Azir ban? <laughs> oh, man, the shuffle's not today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... Skarden Ben, you obviously don't see. Sivir is actually okay. a great ADC pickup. Um, on the side of W, they have a really great team comp going. So think they about really it. You do. have uh, AoE from the Bard who can initiate. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you have the Jarvan Cataclysm as well. Uh, Nar with uh, Mega Nar and his ulti. And then Sivir to give them that passive movement speed buff if they need to engage or disengage. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So a lot of options here coming in from WP. They have a pretty well-sourced team comp for that. But Zach being picked up for the jungle on the side of MIT. And Zach is actually one of those jungle picks that I find people never think about. Like no. He's a, actually a super strong jungle pro yeah, right now. I, uh, jung Zach is my uh, go-to jungle main, so I am a little <laughs> excited to see my flubber on the field. Um, like you mentioned, not a lot of people think of Zach as, you know, a jungler nowadays they normally think of like you know a hecarim or a jarvin or something you know he just doesn't get picked up as often exactly and i think because of that a lot of people don't frequently see him and see how powerful he can become mm -hmm. because if we look on the side of mit they have a zaya they have an aatrox they have an ari they have all the damage they really need and then they have an unkillable flubber with Sirach <laughs> killing them, you know so we're gonna have to see how this is gonna turn out and then look at that arise to finish off the comp on wpi side that's a pretty solid pickup on the Rise, because one, you have scaling champions on both the Rise and Sivir. Jarvan can pro provide some really good early and mid-game support mm -hmm. uh, with his roams. He's super mobile, obviously. Same with Zac, though. So if yep. they can match mobility and counter gank each other, that'll really depend on which lane has uh, most CC and whichever lane has cooldowns on their summoner spells at that point. Um, so map vision, of course. We always have to take a really good look at map vision, seeing where uh, teams are pushing their wards because Zach, as we all know, jumped from <laughs> any angle. On the side of the map. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. But on the other side of it, they have a Sivir who can run from the other side of the map in an instant. So uh, kind of interested to see how this is going to work out here. I, I am kind of a little hesitant to say one side or the other because looking at the side of you know WPI, they have a Sivir, they have a Rise, they have, I guess, the Gnar, so they do scale relatively well, yep. mm -hmm. and they do have some safety for the mid-game with that Jarvan. Mm -hmm. um, whereas on the other side, Zaya, yes, does scale, Aatrox does scale, but uh, Zach, you know, after a little bit of Armor Shred or Armor Pen, I think he's going to fall off in terms of tankiness, especially mm -hmm. against, like, a Rise Sivir comp here, mm -hmm. and then throw in the Gnar as well. So, um, yeah, one thing to note on the summoner spells of bot lane. So Sivir and Bart have the classic, you know, ignite on the Bart and then heal on Sivir. Yeah. On the other side for MIT, they actually opted to go for more <laughs> safe lane where Soraka is going to have uh, three healing spells. So her mm -hmm. W, her ulti, as well as he literally her summoner spell heal, right? Yeah. Uh, Zaya opted to get the teleport uh, summoner spell for the bot lane in order to have herself get back into lane quicker so they're gonna try to get her to scale a lot quicker by getting her islands more early because she'll have a lot more uh lane presence with that teleport yeah most definitely so we got about a minute and a half left on the spectator delay here what do you guys think who's gonna come out with the win here i'm assuming this is most of the stu uh, schools that are currently watching we have probably mit and wpi uh players or students probably watching here so what do we think is going to happen uh do we have any uh uh, predictions here, Kevin? What do you think? I mean, dude, it's anyone's game, right? Predictions, I think predictions are a little bit silly until we see. It, it's up to the individual skills of the players and their team composition. Yep. Actually, that's see. interesting to bring that up, right? Because I think if we look across the boards for rank, they're all pretty much they're around the plat. Yeah. At least a, they, they even out around plat, yeah, right? Yeah, so you have like like one gold on each team, a um, couple diamonds, and like a couple plats as well to round out. Yeah. So you can say around platinum is the average rank for both of them. Now, I do think that looking at the jungle matchup here, uh, being a jungle main myself, I always get excited at looking at these pathing and such. Um, Zach, once he gets that elastic slingshot, you know, level 2, level 3, gets up there in the ranks, he can kind of jump, like you already said, from over yep. the wall, from halfway across the map, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to be looking at Jarvan to see if he can kind of make anything a little bit earlier than Zach does, because mm -hmm. essentially Jarvan, as soon as he has his uh, flag and drag, he's a champion. You know, he's That's online. Yeah. So... 
Uh, it's going to take a little bit longer for Zach to actually, you know, do much. Uh, so I'm curious if he's just going to go hard farm or if he's going to go <laughs> for some cheese here. Uh, Ari did take uh, Ignite. You know, that's pretty something typical you see from Ari players in the mid. Yep. Rise, unfortunately, he didn't take Cleanse or anything like that. He does have TP, which allows him to be a little bit more mobile combined with his ultimate. You know, he'll have a pretty much a global map presence to be able to move around the map. But that does mean in his early game, he has to be super careful yep. of Ari going uh, really aggressive against him in lane. Because Ari, when she gets level six, you know she has her three dashes, her charm, her entire, her entire combo, along with, um, along with that, the, the, the lightning, thing, that the, thing, the, the lightning the thing, thing, hextech, the no, the some the, the master, the, the, the mass, the what are you doing? <laughs> the, the what? The, the red lightning one. Red electrocute. Yeah, electrocute. It took you that long to come up with electrocute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, once they, once she gets electrocute on and get her entire combo off, like that's gonna be a dead ride oh until you just scale like in. Oof, struggle. But here you are. Spectator right. delay is now off. We are gonna loading him into the lobby. Let's see if they any of these teams are actually gonna go for a early game invade. I always I love to see some scrapping. I mean, on. it's. I don't necessarily think either team has a wonderful one. I mean, I guess there's a Zaya, not even? I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's but definitely going to be tough. Yeah, neither team really has a great invade potential here. Um, but let's see if I can get this to transition over. <laughs> um, I mean, it's just to keep in mind, like, Zach, even if he does die his level 1, he still has his passive, which allows him to... Uh, recover plus you can also tp in with atrox to keep them alive just that little bit uh further but you know the damage output in the early game i think will have to go with wpi because silver when she gets her boomerang that's pretty much an additional two auto attacks that she can get over zaya who's uh -oh. forced to take feathers we're having some trouble with this attack during the full screen window done oh no all right we'll figure this out there, use right click. Properties. No, right click on the game oh, capture. Oh, wrong one. Uh, properties. Uh, pages of specific window. Then uh, this one. Yep, this one. Yep. There we go. All right, transition. All right, so here we go. Wait, that is the first play <laughs> like we talked Wait, about. we missed it. Okay, okay, we're going to swap this over. Hold on one sec. Oh, no. So WPI able to get the invade onto the Zac, and despite him having the passive, you know, he didn't have teammates with them, so uh, he got the he got the death. <laughs> Rough. Okay, we. All right, I'm gonna see. Let's go back a little bit, see if we can get that. Bup, 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 bup. And we can jump ahead if yeah. we have any like lulls in time. All right, so here we go. Let's jump up, fast forward, fast forward, and we'll get us into this game real quick. All right, here we go. You. Yeah. So here's the invade that uh, WPI went ahead and got. Unfortunately, it looks like it's just Zach on the mini map, who's uh, kind of chilling by herself. Zaya is all the way down in the tribal rush there, and this is going to be a pretty clean invade. As oh, yeah, yeah that's, that's really, it. That's really bad timing. He still has and his passive. Yeah, his passive is going to be gone. That's pretty big. I mean, I guess it will come up by the time he does go for any cheesy, you know, jump ins with his long range uh, E. I'm just going to pop up the volume here a little bit and see if you guys can actually hear the game. Hashtag yep. professional stream. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, well, you got two hooligans casting. Yeah, yeah that's professional it. professional stream. That's dude. it. Oof. <laughs> well, all right, here we go. We can jump ahead a little bit now because we got some, uh, that was pretty much it. I think we only jumped back at like a couple of 30 seconds. Yeah, so there we go. We so back hit. Jarvan actually started rep buff sign, which is uh, kind of interesting because that means obviously he didn't get a leash from his bot lane. But also that means he can prioritize ganking bot and mid a lot more. Yep. So getting that silver ahead, getting that rise um, ahead as well, getting him to be able to push the lane, get his early items because he needs that tier. 
Yep. And he can obviously get a Rod of Ages if he wants to, but his tier and completing that tier, this is a very big first item for Rise. In the Most middle. definitely. And, I, I mean, look at this. Even this Soraka's taking so much damage. The Ignite goes down. That's a kill for Bard. Hogster taking him down. That's two kills over for the side of WPI already. Two minutes, 30 seconds into this game. And now Nara's going to go mega. Aatrox goes in. He's got the excited. He's going super ham. Goes for the stun. Misses Oof. it just barely. And... But he does win out on a pretty nice trade up on the top side. Just like Ty uh, Tyler Tiger Seven says in the chat, Sivir is actually the support. Bard is actually the carry of this game. <laughs> That's how it goes. <laughs> Nar jumps in. He goes for the jump. Gets the Q. Gets excited. Not enough damage. Aatrox is going to be forced out of his lane here. Nar is going a little bit farther under tower, but now. Uh, WPI is pushing MIT under towers on all lanes. Even that mid lane, Rise is pushing Ari under tower. But more trading Ooh, up top. Aatrox. This is risky play here for Aatrox. Yeah, a still a range Nar. Yeah, Aatrox is going to have a really hard time because one, obviously, Nar. Yep. Long range oh. champion. And the, pro the ability for him Tower to be shot. able to proc his passive like that with the three uh, autos is going to chunk him. Yeah. He's not going to have a fun time. And that shows Ooh. in the CS. Look at this. So much poke on the side of WPI, doing so much work here, making everyone uncomfortable. Aatrox down literally 8 CS, 9 CS, having to back and TP in. Zach is here, but that ward is going to keep Nar safe. The Q from Zach's going to miss, and just like that, Zach's going to waste a little bit of time up here. But Nar having double the CS already at 3 minutes, 4 minutes, he's in a pretty good spot. Yep, other than that, Jarvan going in for a gank in the mid lane. Rise able to get that root Ooh, that flash away. That auto attack, that bada auto bing, attack. Rise mm. autos. And you never un underestimate those bad boys <laughs> as they do pick up a third kill for WPI here. Now, Nar still has his TP. He has yet to back. And look at, he's still poking out Aatrox. Man, that region on Nar is super good. Just from that going mega there. But... I don't know, he dashes forward, tries to get the last Q, but Nar bounces away from him. He does not land the E either. That looked like it landed. That was pretty close, but... Yep, a little bit of poke action there going in both top and bot lane. Uh, Sivir slightly ahead in CS, but the wave is pushed. Ooh. Aatrox going in. Ooh, Flash. both flashes! He gets out of it with just a sliver of health, but now Nar's going to get to back and teleport right back to lane. Completely fine, still nearly double the CS at this point. Aatrox has to be careful because he did get taken down pretty low to about half HP. Jarvan is able to collapse and secure the wave for Nar before he teleports back. He is going for a sneaky lane brush ward here too. So if you look, Jarvan's actually in the top lane brush trying to uh, bait this out potentially. He's waiting. He probably could have gotten to the next one a little bit, but I don't know how far that minion range vision went. Right. But does he go for it? That is a big minion wave. It's still only level 5. Nar going yet. super aggressive. Is Jarvan going to help out? He uh, might not even need he to. He doesn't. He flashed for it. He missed the Q. Oh, but he does get the kill in the end. A little bit of a miss flash there from Jarvan trying to get the flag and drag <laughs> swag strat. Uh, but in the end, doesn't matter. They pick up the kill. Totally worth. Yep. WPI up to a really strong start. 4-0. Six, five minutes into the game. Soraka gets ignited once again. Bard going super aggro. Zaya trying to trade damage. But in the end, it looks like WPI still able to take that advantage in the bot lane. Sivir up 44 CS2. Zaya's 37. But here's Zach. Look at that. He's going for that potential jump. He's level four. He's got that level two rank into his elastic fling shot. He's going over. Doesn't have enough for the spell shield there. Forces the flash out of Sivir. They're running for their life. And it looks like they're going to get out of there. Totally fine. They did blow the flash on Saver. Q in the wrong direction just for the swag, but they lived until another day. Just like what we talked about before, it's going to be very dangerous if you don't have entire vision control over your lanes because Zach can't just go ahead and do that. He'll be lurking in the shadows, slingshot over, and then before you know it, as long as you have enough CC, able to secure a kill. But still, what a great gank. Counter gank. Ooh, oh. the flash Q from Bard. Oh, no. Oh. That, that Bard, MVP. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Bard is doing so much work right now in the bot lane. I mean, oh, super man. calculated there. I, I think Sivir is truly the support at this point. <laughs> that was, that was true. Mm, perfect. Perfection. I think he also has, um, what's that lightning spell again? Electrocute? Electrocute. So he was able to Q, auto attack, um, auto attack in order to get that electric. Oh, he's got bar. Comet. Never mind. He he so he landed Comet on him, yeah. I mean, it makes sense with the slow. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Easy. But 
Bard got the two kills now. Um, and looking just across at the lane matchups, right? Like, it doesn't look too bad at face value. You know, obviously Bard has a lot of kills. If we look at the uh, gold value, I think this is the gold button. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bard's got an extra 500 gold on him. Uh, like, there's slight bits of gold lead on the side of WPI and pretty much across the lane on the right. So yep. each lane has some sort of gold uh, over there. Oops. Oh, no. Alt tab. Over their lane opponent. So, um... Having that extra on Bard isn't a huge deal because, you know, it's still a Bard. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> you know, at least early game, he's able to do some stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so up in the top lane, both top players do have level 6. Uh, Aatrox does get his super awesome uh, ability where he does a ton of damage, gets, what, additional lifesteal as well? Yes. As soon as he pops his ultimate. Yep. But Bar, or Nar has super Nar and can throw people at, up against the wall. Yeah, Stun exactly. Though, he's do, got the Still stuns. do massive damage as well. Um, but yeah, WPI looking really strong here in the early game so far. Having a 3k gold advantage uh, with our gang. So oh look at that bar damage. damage. He's insane. <laughs> Jarvan coming from the backside. He does have his uh, ultimate. He's level 6. Forces the flash out of Soraka with that red buff. And now Soraka's hurting. But they just walk out of that nothing. Now Zach goes in for the to gank top lane. He does get the Q. Knocks Gnar into his own minion Great wave there. Up. There comes jo oh, oh, the no, Gnar. And the Gnar ultimate into the wall. Stuns them both and makes it so he'll be safe. And actually chase down the two enemies on uh, MIT side. Oh, Jarvan. Cataclysm comes in. Bada bing, bada boom. But Zaya's not going down without a fight. Gets the snare under tower. But the ignite's going to do a little bit. Is it enough? And it is. That's two kills for the side of MIT, but another kill over for WPI on the bot side as well. So there is a slugfest trading back and forth here with MIT picking up their first couple of kills. Yep. So we will look at to mid lane actually. Rise has already picked up his last chapter. Uh, Sivir already has her BF sword as well as yeah. her two long swords. So she's getting really close to completing. I believe she's going for her essence weaver first now. Um, and Nar, once he gets his Black Cleaver, he's already two steps ahead, right? He has his Phage and he has his Kindle Gem. Yep. Uh, Aatrox just catching up right now. He just bought his Kindle Gem. So he's having a really rough time up in the top lane, but, you know, Zach's doing the best he can in they order They did to kill Nar up there while we were watching bot side. So exactly. They did so get something for it. Still, the 3k gold difference still remains in WPI's favor. Uh, right now, but we'll see how the rest of the game goes as the first dragon that pops out is Ocean Drake. It's not mm -hmm. the highest priority, obviously. Everyone wants, everyone wants Inferno, right? Yep, yep. Let's be Riha. So everyone but wants Inferno, sometimes Mountain, but... Ocean's still really good for early game, especially mm -hmm. if you're falling behind. It allows you to stay in lane longer, do some nice regen, um, and just, you know, overall be safer in the long run. And it will help you kind of get through this rough early period where, you know, WPI, the team that theoretically should have I feel like the better early game regardless. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, it'll help MIT oh, what a get through great that. Ulti. But he ults back into the minion wave, gets a little bit of damage on him, but not enough to do anything or amount to it. It's trying to bait him into a fight with Jarvan and the brush right there. Yeah. Um, but even still, the amount of aggression coming out of WPI is pretty impressive. And Aatrox is going in. He does not have. He does have ultimate available if he wants to use it. Um, but he does think something's up. He does get the E on him. He's going he's in again. Jarvan's thing? got the flag and drag cataclysm. And just like that, Nara's going to pick up his third kill of the game. And probably a good chunk of this tower. That was a really great bait there by Nara. You know, they bided their time, right? Yep. You would think whenever a jungler would sit up there, you, they, they would get kind of bored. You know, mm -hmm. there's lots of jungle camps. I know, for I get Jarvan. I know. <laughs> I mean, Dra Jarvan, you know, if you look across the map, he has three jungle camps that he, yep. he should be able to take. Blue team, though, able to secure the dragon for themselves while Jarvan was top lane. So that was a great read yep. by MIT, able to secure themselves at least some sort of a map objective, and that's going to help them in their laning phase because what that does is allows them more passive regeneration. Yep. Um, and especially now, since they're behind, they're going to need that extra time I'm in lane to catch up in gold. Most definitely. I think that uh, Ocean Drake there is kind of imperative that uh, MIT does pick that up because without it, the, they're at risk of just pretty much losing lanes completely across the map, which they already are. Mm -hmm. So allowing them that extra safety to stay in lane a little bit longer, collect some extra gold that they've been missing in the earlier stages of this game is going to go a long way for them. But here, we got some fighting in the bot lane. It does get a little bit of damage onto Zaya. That's a huge chunk, actually. But Silver's oh, going to pop the ulti. ultimate. Flash Q, ignite onto Soraka, and that is still a squishy Soraka. Zaya's going to force ultimate out with the bard ult. And 
just like that another kill over to WPI here it is 12 minutes in already about a 4,000 gold lead uh, so not you know impossible to come back from but definitely gonna be pretty difficult for uh, MIT to do anything at this point mm -hmm. they're gonna have to wait for the long game which is kind of scary seeing as how there's a rise Siver on the opposite side so while all that action was going on we see we do see that uh, WPI did pick up the eye of the herald uh, able to secure that for themselves so they have two minutes to decide how they want to use that uh, objective pushing monster to get them you know even further in the lane we do see that uh, in the next three minutes, tower plating will go down, so we should be able to see more towers falling pretty soon. Ari Ooh, does get the snare damage. there. But now more fighting in the top lane. Ari comes in, forces the flash. That was really nice reaction time oh. from Nar here. But three members top, goes for the flash. Q just barely misses it. I think that was a little bit thirsty for that, trying to go for the hardest, uh, trying to get some money back in their pockets, but it did cost them a flash overall. Uh, they did get Nar's flash, however, so not all was lost, but... A little yeah. bit of a risky play. Didn't pan out, but uh, it's not over yet. Yeah, that was a little bit of aggression there from MIT trying to catch up there by ganking the NAR. I mean, NAR's going to be pretty hard to kill. Yep. I mean, let's be real here. Yeah. He has his jump, and then once he goes mega, he gets bonus health yep. and, and uh, health regen. So it's going to be tough for that. Aatrox going super aggressive once again, but trying to get some yeah. sort of damage. It's not looking... It's too risky, man. He's not getting the traits that he wants, really. No, I, I think I think MIT's going about this the wrong way, too, right? I mean, they are they keep camping NAR. They keep trying to do something with NAR. NAR already is innately safe with his bounce, right? He's got his hop, he's got his bounce, his leap, whatever it's yep. called, and change his names. Um, but it's obviously not working, right? He's safe. Mm -hmm. what, what laner in this game does not have anything, aside from a flash? Rise. Rise, Rise. exactly. There's yep. an Ari with the CC already set up in the lane yep. for you. You have the CC lane set up. Why, we should be focusing on the mid lane, not the NAR right now. And at this point, it's kind of a little bit late, because NAR, he's already got his Archangels, yep. you know, stacking up into his serves. So uh, we, we're going to have to see how this goes. But with the Rift Herald right there, I would assume WPI, yeah, they've already got a tower there. WPI they actually got so both turrets, yeah. top and bot, too. And Jarvan was able to scare himself. Zach's red buff because they have so much lane priority. Look at that. Driver going in. Ooh, the nice guard ultimate. Gets three stun or two stuns rather. That's and a, that is two kills over <laughs> the side of WPI again. Oh no, Zach. No, Zach, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, he's got it. Man mode, Zach. He's going for the Q. Guys get the damage. Now Ari oh. comes in. They do get two kills. Totally didn't even see that coming. Ari gets the flat. Oh, here comes the ignite going down. Bard running out, trying to get the heals from his little chimes. Not gonna be enough. Ari picks up another kill there, but Meanwhile, WPI is pushing in the mid lane with that Rift Hell. It's going to get a second charge on that secondary tower, too. That is so much extra gold to WPI's pocket. And while they did pick up three kills, they did lost two towers. Yeah. Oof. So the gold, you know, MIT's trying to make some more moves across the board, able to finally take down the Rift Herald, but that is a lot of damage down to the second that tier too. That is a huge amount of damage. Yeah, so a pretty good use of Rift Herald there. I mean, there's there's not much they could do, right? Yeah. They did, they, WPI took a really good uh, gamble and uh, killing the bot lane of yep. MIT, but then WPI in retaliation dropped the Rift Herald and able to take down yep. a lot of health off of that tier 2 turret. And in the end, you know, League of Legends isn't an objective based game. You can be 100 kills behind, but if you kill the Nexus, you still win. Yeah, exactly. And that's kind of, you know, just looking at this game right now, you know, taking it back to the straight sheer numbers game. They are about, what, 5,000 gold behind, yep. three towers down, not including all of the plates that WPI got. Exactly. So that is a huge amount of gold to come back from. And Sivir's got her Essence Reaver. She's got her second BF. Yep. Uh, Zaya just finished her Essence Reaver at this point. Um, and it's really just Ryza stacking up. Uh, so this is where... This should be the time when MIT should be able to kind of, you know, fight back a little bit in this mid game, kind of skirmishing. But as soon as this goes a little bit later, Ryze gets that damage, Sivir starts getting his three items. Yep. This is going to get really scary really fast. Oh, what? Ooh, Zach gets the key into the Dragon Steel. That is beautiful. Zaya on the backside does get picked oh. off, as does Soraka. And now Aatrox is going in 1v5 at this point, does pick up Bard. Zach going in with the bounce. Ari misses the charm. Zach. Is now left for dead here. It looks like the Q is going to miss. Red buff. Siver is going to force pop the ultimate. And now the blobs are going to come out. Zach's going to fall. Now Ari is in an awkward spot with four members, five members of WPI collapsing. <laughs> nice spell shield. 
feels bad, man, for the Ari, and she is, you know, not long she's, for this she's world. Gone too. Auto, auto, boom, pizza to the face. Here's your pizza. It's free on me because it took so long, but you're done, so. And that's an overall five kill ace for WPI. So it started off great. Zach still Stealing dragging. That dragon, but, but they engaged. Yeah, but then Zaya and Soraka kind of got caught there. I think there was a little bit of miscommunication because yep. uh, they it looked like Botley wanted to fight, and Zach they was able to steal dragon, but he, he was able to steal without having to go in. He had flash and jump available. Yep. So MIT has a little bit of miscommunication there what, around team fights, um, and the mobility coming in from WPI, the wind drake is obviously going to help. Yeah, obviously. most definitely. So right now. Uh, but Wind Drake for an ace, man? Eh, I don't know if that's yeah. worth it, dude. Yeah. No, that's not going to help. I mean, Sivir finishing two full items now. Essence, River, and Ice, she's going to do a ton of damage. Yep. Tons of damage. But, I mean, I don't know, dude. I Did really you try like to go that... for a freak reference? No. I hate you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, you know, don't call me out like that on stream. Come on. As I say, call out my voice cracks. Of course. <laughs> right, of course. That's how it goes. But, um, yeah, 6 to 16, three towers in the side of WPI. This is going to be rough. I, I, I think at this point, MIT need to take a step back, you know, reevaluate how it went wrong in this first game. Yeah, lives. not. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. That's, That's look, Kevin, you're toxic. <laughs> Calm down. Low key. All right, Zach, uh, able to catch up Jarvin. Jarvin tried to go for the gank into the Ari. Ooh. Ari able to ulti out and... That could be a big catch. Jarvin goes down. Now Jeb gets it. Oof. Aatrox. And now Zaya on the bot side does get another kill as well. Wow, that is three kills over there for MIT. <laughs> they were just down 9,000 <laughs> gold. And now Zach bounces in onto Bard here. Bard, go, though. Lots of damage. Oh. Triple kill for Aatrox. That's kind of who you want it on, isn't it? Yes. Aatrox or Zaya at this point. I'll take either. And Nar, Mega Nard out there. That was kind of awkward looking. Yeah. Um, but look at this. Now <laughs> Zach oh, comes Nar. in from downtown. Nar is in a bad spot, making the same mistake that MIT made just a few minutes ago at the Dragon Pit here. And Zach taking a lot of damage, does end up going down, but overall four kills for MIT, and they're forcing a tower bot side. Going to get their first tower of the game here. That was huge. That was, that huge. was a huge swing. That was 5,000 gold practically. Yeah, so, so what happened was... Uh, WPI tried to, you know, use their map advantage and their gold advantage to try to take out some of the key players from MIT, but it kind of backfired because one, Soraka and Zaya got the kill on Sivir bot lane by herself. She was caught out. Um, and then, you know, because Ari and them were super caught out in mid lane, that just translated into MIT able to secure themselves or make, come back from a deficit. Now they're only down six kills. Yep. Um, and at the beginning of the fight, they were down 9K gold, but now they're only Insane. down 3K. So they're catching up. Great charm there on the, the bar, but she has to get away. Yeah. There's four members WPI are there. They're Way roaming together. Look at this roam, dude. They're sticking together like a team. I mean, they got Sivir, man. That's all you need for a team, really. Just pop your Sivir ultimate and you're good to go as long as you have something in front of you. And it looks like most teams are looking for some sort of Baron bait or Baron fight. MIT doesn't have any vision here, so they yep. could be walking into this. This could be really risky. Zach's going to get queued by the Sivir here. Jumps into the entire enemy team. On the backside, Jarvan goes into the Ari. Does flash into the wall face first. Two kills over to MIT. Aatrox goes in under the rise. That is not good for WPI. They're going to keep chasing down. Now he's going on to Sivir. Sivir just barely gets away for now. Now Nar is having to deal with four members himself. He is left for dead now. Four members of MIT, or four members of WPI, I'm sorry, fall. And MIT take another game. And they get the delayed ace. Not even delayed ace. 16 to 18. They're coming back from a 9,000 gold deficit in 21 minutes. Pushing down mid lane. Wow. WPI trying to do their best. And unfortunately, they just keep focusing the wrong guy. They shouldn't try to focus the Zach because right now he already has uh, his core item Warmogs built as well as uh, the enchantment on his jungle item. So mm -hmm. he's pretty tanky so far. Once he completes a armor or magic resist item, you know, you really should just ignore him. Yeah. He doesn't do much damage. If they had actually turned onto the Ari, like what Jarvan did, uh, it's obviously really tough because she has her ultimate, but if they did that, then they could remove a big source of damage from the side of WPI, or yeah. from MIT. And here comes a TP from Nard trying to force something out. They don't want to give 
uh, MIT any time to deal with this Baron. They're TPing, but it looks like they're not going to go for it. They're just going to go for this Ocean Drake. That Ocean, however, keeping MIT very healthy at this point, even though they did just, you know, not get a chance to back. That Ocean kept them relatively healthy, but even still, it looks like WPI is going to get this Ocean Drake for themselves. And funny enough, the team that has been winning the entire game now gets their first Dragon at 22 minutes. <laughs> Gold deficit now only down to 1k. If we look at the items, uh, Jarvan's able to complete his jungle item, but he's still slightly behind Zack at this regard, right? Yep. He's just been tanking for his team, but Zack is able to get some kills for himself, so he has uh, full war mods, whereas Jarvan still trying to complete his Black Cleaver. Sivir starting her attack speed item, uh, get, able to get that electro one. But Ooh, Zack goes in, hits three members. That is so much damage to Zaya, striding through the entire enemy team. That's four members down. Ryze is left alone, trying to defend mid lane now. And Ari running him down, trying to force it. And you know, this is my lane now. This is going to be our game. You guys had the early game. That's cool beans. Sivir, whatever, late game. Who cares about it? We're going to take the Baron. Wow. I, MIT. What is happening? <laughs> I mean, they're doing a really good job of overcoming the deficit that they have right there. They're able to secure Baron right now. I mean, Zach Ooh. does have his smite up. Zach, uh, Rai is trying to do something, but yeah. it is slowly being taken down. Soraka is still pretty healthy. Uh, once she gets her redemption down for the team, there it is. Yeah, that's MIT it. secures Baron, and they now have the map advantage. This is they turn huge. it around. I can't even. 9,000 gold deficit to already a Baron and 2,000 up. This is not what I expected. Uh, I gotta say, for game one, I was I was starting to get a little bit disappointed with how much of a steamroll it was, but this has been a slugfest, yeah. and I'm, re I'm really excited about that. But now, with the Baron picked up from MIT, they're going to run out back to their lanes and try to get some pressure back up on the map, and WPI is going to try to pick up the pieces at this point and, you know, try and rekindle what they had in the early game. Mm -hmm. oh, in the beginning of the game, like, Rise was pretty far ahead of Ari. Like at one point he was about like uh, 30, 40 CS ahead. Yep. But now if we look at the items. Ari has two completed items. Ryze only has one. He's still trying to finish his Morellos yep. uh, at this point. And the CS, you know, still even across the board. Uh, Zaya and Sivir also, once again, being really close to each other. But like, you know, Aatrox, man, he's definitely improved uh, KDA wise as well as his gold. Yeah, no joke. Like he has finished his death dance now. Yeah, uh, that's really gonna help Black him. Black Cleaver fights. death dance. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's Aatrox. You know, he's a champion. He's online at this point. If you let Aatrox get into your back line, it's it's pretty much done. Um, and here comes Nar trying to defend that bot lane tower with Sivir, but so much damage so just much from damage. the Zaya. Now Zach's kind of trying to play, you know, linebacker here, protecting her bot laner from uh, the bar and the rise over here. And here comes the bar, and not going to connect with anyone. And it just looks like MIT is pulling WPI apart. They are forcing 1-1-3 uh, right now, trying to force down these extra towers. And with that Baron buff, it's just too easy. WPI doesn't have anything they can do to respond. They need to make some sort of engage happen here. But they're just kind of letting it all happen. Yeah, I mean, Aatrox was left to his own devices for a little bit. He was able to get a lot of damage. Onto tier two. There's tier two for mid lane falling in Za Ooh, uh, that's Ari. so much damage, but the stun. Ari's gonna pick up the bar. They jump in onto Zaya here. Jarvin's Clatical is not gonna do enough damage, unfortunately, and that redemption comes out, does heal him. Sivir taking so much, so many autos, and that is a better 80 carry for me, baby. Here oh comes Zaya God. getting the double kill. Aatrox going in on an R under tower, but that's still Aatrox. He doesn't care about a tower. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Ari is pushing mid lane, does have that barrened up cannon minion there. Bot lane inhibitor is going to fall with those barrened up minions. And Ryze and Nar being the only ones left alive, barely, and slivers of health now. Two inhibitor is probably going to go down. This is this could be the game. Yeah, I mean, MIT is taking so much. They're going to get two inhibs for the lives of WPI here. And it's going to be really tough. I mean, they still have Baron buff for another 30 seconds. And no, once again... They're doing a really great job of stalling the engage from WPI. WPI have yet to fight as a full five. Yeah. Actually, they've been scrapping with different members uh, and arriving at different times. And it's really showing because now WPI is having difficulty winning these fights because, you know, everyone's starting to scale and they have yeah. their items. I mean, that's kind of what they want to do is team fight, but here they go, get the knockback into Aatrox. That's not who you want to knock back into the enemy team. 
Jarvis going that's in a by himself. Ultimate. He does get three members, does get Soraka, but that's not necessarily oh a huge deal because Zion is just killing the entire back line of the enemy team. Now Aatrox is going crazy, and with that, Artie's oh. going to flash <laughs> Charm onto uh, Jarvis there, get the easy quadra that's the kill. Quadra kill that's, dude. that's a feels bad man right there. And again, name of the game is they just keep overextending. They don't let their team follow up with them. Yeah. Jarvin goes in by himself. Nar goes in by himself. That You need that backup of the team. Yeah, you get some good engage. Yeah, you get some good cataclysms. Yeah, you get some good Nar ultimates. But if you don't have the backup, man, you don't have the damage to end the enemy team. Yep, and that's going to be looks like game one. Like, MIT, man. Came in, coming back from that deficit in the early game. That games, was a huge deficit, That was a too. big deficit. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that was a crazy game one. I couldn't have asked for a better one. That was a roller coaster of emotions if I've G ever seen G one. Good job, MIT. Able to take game one over WPI. Now they're going to switch sides. Now yep. MIT is going to be on the blue side and yes. WPI is going to be on red. So, so uh, we're going to take a quick break, let you guys listen to some music, and uh, we'll be right back with game number two between MIT and WPI. <laughs> 